Yo, we need to talk. When December comes, I bet you want to wrap me all up and take me home with you. Like, on a very serious level, am I the only one who hasn't finished Christmas shopping? I know, it is very bad. I haven't finished Christmas shopping for anyone, but I, I, I have some reasons. For example, I end up going online, and then suddenly, I end up watching Ricegum's video because it pops out of nowhere. Hey guys, it's me again, and Whoa. today I'm talking about something very serious. Oh, I'm not sure you guys know this, but I have a Rice sister. Gun. Twelve seconds later. Identical, bro, that's my little sister lately. But yeah, that's my sister. Yo, why is she Oh my gosh, wait, I don't know. Also, I end up playing the new pocket version of Animal Crossing. Lastly, I always end up getting my bag. Suddenly, I figure out I'm hungry. So I go to the kitchen, eat food. Hours later, all the stores are closed. I honestly need to get with the game because Christmas is literally in four days. I am honestly going to give the worst gifts ever, which is not like me. Like there was a time where I was desperate enough to look through my old stuff to see if I could give it as a gift. Also, if you are watching this video and you're very desperate to find a gift for someone very last minute, and when I mean very last minute, this could be four days, five days before, or even the day of Christmas. Now let me be honest with you. I am going to be telling you the top secret of how to get the best but affordable gifts. But I need to close this door to make sure no one hears. The secret, and I mean top secret, to get very cheap and affordable gifts. It is sadly five below. So there is a level of how cheap and how expensive dollar stores can be. Like first on the bottom, there's Family Dollar. Then the second level, it is Dollar Tree. Then the top is Five Below. I've been to Five Below before. Five Below has the most amazing things. Okay, basically I'm going to Five Below and I'm going to show you items that you could buy as gifts. Let's see how many gift ideas I can give in this video. And also, before I go to Five Below, thumbs up this video. And if you're new, subscribe to this channel for more videos. I am currently doing Week Miss, in which I am vlogging for a week, then posting at the end of the week for a basic summary of the entire week. And you guys should get ready for that. And also, we should, um,. Go to five below before it closes because it's literally 5 16 p.m. Boys and girls, I am going to basically not be able to buy anything by now because I don't know when it closes. Actually, let's check a Siri. Siri, what time does five below close? Five below on it is open today from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Guys, let's let, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you guys are just gonna stand there. Well, I'll meet you in the car. One hour later. Look what we are at, man. Okay, I want to feel like David Dobrik and Liza Koshy, so. I think this is pretty cool. You can, like, put out words on this light box. Like, you can always get someone sneakers. Sometimes it's a great gift to give someone socks. Makeup sets are pretty good as well because it gives a variety of things to someone. For a little kid, you can always end up giving them a stuffed animal. If you live in a cold climate, it's always good to give someone boot cuffs or leg warmers. What the heck? Five Below is everything. You could get someone mermaid leggings. That's freaking cool. 
To make someone feel like they're in a spa setting, you should get someone a face mask. Face masks are honestly my favorite thing on earth because they make me feel like I'm actually in a spa when I'm actually at my home alone and sad. These spa sets are pretty good to give as well because once again, a variety of things to give someone. For those world travelers, you could get them a luggage tag because honestly, luggage tags are boring nowadays. Just get them a fun one. Nowadays, nail polish is pretty popular, so get them a variety of nail polishes. In Fire Below, they have a variety of shirts, if you could see. And half of these shirts are pretty punny, in my opinion, so you should get someone one of those shirts. I feel like your room is basically the description of your Snapchat profile and snaps. So I feel like you should get someone really nice room decor, like these decorative wall black hooks. Nowadays, there are a ton of cute mugs, so I feel like a mug and coffee is the best gift ever. When I saw this, I thought this is pretty cool. This is an inflatable cushion. Like, look, crazy art design and inflatable cat. All over the internet, I saw that they had these breakable safes, and this safe that says, girls just want to have fun. Pretty funny, and save right now. <laughs> funny. What the heck? This is a star projector. That, that is everything. Pretty much half of the internet is about pranks, so get one of these prank toy things and just video record it and put it on Snapchat or Instagram. I don't care. The hype seems to be these sequin pillows that change different colors when you touch it. For the sporty people, you should get them a water bottle. Or in other people's cases, for those workout junkie people, you should get them sneaker balls. I swear their sneakers are going to smell at some point. For little kids, it's always best to get coloring books because they're probably going to use them and they're cheap and affordable. The trend nowadays seems to be these virtual reality things and the original one, the optical thing, is like a billion dollars I think. I'm trying to exaggerate it as possible and I feel like this is the best gift to give anyone especially if they're like into technology. It's always best to get someone a pillow for their room honestly because comfortable plus cute. Slime honestly seems to be the hype nowadays, so you should get someone a slime kit. Getting a phone case for someone would have to be the number one gift you should give someone, especially since it's never too much to get too many phone cases. To be honest, I would want this as a gift because I've seen these in every single 90s movie or show, but it's like this projection time alarm clock for those gamers. Video games would have to work for any one of those type of people. Giving candy would honestly have to be the number one gift you should give besides a phone case because everyone loves candy unless you're diet diabetic, I'm very sorry. For families, ornaments can honestly work for anything. So I actually hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up because I am very embarrassed to film in public and it took me an hour to film this video. And also, um, please subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next video, so bye. Yo, we need to, oh God, the chair. <laughs> Lastly. <laughs> Who is flexing on my own sister? No one flexes no on Ling Ling. <laughs>